time to take a look at workflows. So uh, here we are uh, in the workflow tab. As you can see here, workflows is really a specialized kind of task that contains data containing to which tasks are within a workflow and the relationship between tasks and the conditions in which they'll proceed from one task to the other. If we hit new here, at first this will look like any other normal task type and we'll put some information here my video workflow again you have the same tabs as you would in any other task uh, you can also specify your SLAs here as well we're just going to hit submit and then once this is submitted you'll see there's a button down here called edit workflow when we click on edit workflow we're brought into the workflow canvas so you'll see that we have a big white area to work with and a number of buttons along the top you know for saving and opening uh, zooming in and out doing auto arrangements but first of all we have to have some tasks uh, to select in the workflow so first off we're going to hit here and uh, we can just hit the search button and it'll give us a list of every task within the system but if we have a large number of tasks we can also specify by task name if we wanted to we'll just hit ops asterisk here or we can search by specific type as well so we'll go Linux Unix for instance and uh, we'll just delete this for now and we'll hit search or you can have both uh, fields as well so where for instance if we went to Windows and we hit search that would give us a larger list and then if we only wanted the ones that start with the letter OPS we can hit here and select search so we have some tasks here so the first thing we're going to do is um, get rid of this for now we're going to use some of the tasks that we've already worked with so for instance we're going to drop the backup task uh, on the canvas and also we're going to put the uh, set task as well uh, you can really mix and match the different task types that you have uh, throughout the system. Perhaps we want to have an email task. Uh, there may be a manual step in there where we need to have approval before uh, a workflow can proceed. We'll throw in some Linux or Unix tasks. And we'll drop that one down here. And we can even have workflows embedded within workflows. We're going to throw just throw an FTP task in here first and then we'll drop in a workflow as well. So here I'm going to drop in uh, this uh, workflow here. So we have a number of tasks here. So what we would then do next is really um, set the relationships between the tasks. So first we'll start off with a backup task. We'll go to set test. Perhaps this will release this task and this task and then they will uh, release other tasks throughout the system. So once you have the relationships correctly, you can hit the auto arrange here and it will uh, give you the, it'll tidy this up for you. If you were to go in here and right click on the arrow, you can set the um, conditions and the view run criteria as well. So we're just going to hit save before we do this. If we go into the conditions, for instance, we can set it up so that this relationship could be either success or failure. Um, or both or based on an exit code and then also we can right click here and view and edit the run criteria where we can set up conditions for instance where um, you know tasks are only scheduled to run on certain business days or on very specific days so maybe this task is only supposed to run on Tuesday and Thursday and if it's not a Tuesday or Thursday it'll just proceed to uh, skip the task we can arrow out right from here um, once we have it already saved, which we already do, we can launch this at any time. Click on launch. Um, as we saw earlier in the activity display, we can then go to the activity display and let's hit, uh, let's look for workflows. And here's my video workflow. You see the status of it. You can drill down and you'll see that uh, um, it's continuing to run. We can issue commands against them by right clicking here and issuing commands and we can even drill down to sub workflows as well so we'll see that these messages were all undeliverable uh, we could go in and for instance um, skip this task and then it'll proceed to the next task and then if we hit the up arrow here it'll take us directly to the parent task as well and then back to the activity screen 